Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. I wanted to make a quick video today to share with you that my new cookbook, The Essential Pantry Cookbook, is now available on Amazon. Currently, the ebook is available and ready for download, and the physical book is ready for pre order and will be released on May 4th, 2021. For those of you who might be new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jen. I am a full-time working mom. I live in Iowa. I have two kids and a husband, and I have a super busy life. And here on YouTube, I love to share about my cooking adventures in the kitchen. I've loved to cook ever since I was a kid. And I also like to share tips on how to make life easier for working moms. I wanted to start YouTube in this capacity because I always felt that there was a need for women who work outside of the home to be represented here on YouTube. And and since I love to cook and I thought that I had something to offer, I thought I would start a YouTube channel. And if you have been watching me for a while, you've probably heard me talk a lot about this book. And thank you so much for all of your support from the bottom of my heart. This cookbook would not have been possible without your support 100%. The journey of this has felt like it's taken a while, although it probably really hasn't in the whole grand scheme of things. I was approached late last fall by a publishing company to write this cookbook, and although I really didn't have any business trying to fit this into my life, I knew it was an opportunity that I really couldn't pass up. And if you would have asked me, you know, five, 10 years ago, if this would have ever happened, Happened, I would have said no <laughs> there's no way so I'm super excited to share this book with you because not only is it a great resource for any home cook but it also has a lot of my favorite recipes in it which I make over and over again and I always get asked to share and so if you've been following my channel for a while and you want some of my tried and true recipes this is a great way to get it so I think the concept of this cookbook is super fun and it was sort of a challenge to write it but it was also a fun challenge so basically the concept is that all of the recipes in this book all 80 of them plus there are a hundred variations on those 80 recipes so you get a ton of variety all of the main recipes can be made with just the pantry ingredients in this cookbook so there is a list of 70 pantry ingredients and 15 fresh ingredients so we're talking pantry ingredients like grains flour beans vegetables and we're also talking about items that can be stored in your freezer and long term in your refrigerator as well so those items plus the 15 fresh items make up all of the recipes in this cookbook i think that it's really great because it sort of teaches you to use what you have on hand another question that I often get asked is if you had to come up with a list of pantry staples what would you pick and this cookbook lays it all out for you so that's really nice also the first chapter I think is a great resource it actually goes through all of the essential pantry ingredients what they can be used for it gives you a table how long everything can be stored either in the pantry refrigerator or freezer there are also tips in the book on pantry organization and meal planning so if that's something that you're interested in I really think that this book would be great for you now the recipes in this cookbook I think are super approachable I think that they are suitable for home cooks who are experienced but they're also really suitable for home cooks that are just starting out too a lot of these recipes don't require a ton of ingredients very simple concepts very simple flavors I think there's a great variety of recipes in the book not only different types of cuisine but also there are breakfast recipes lunch recipes dessert dinner snacks all of the above another thing I want to point out about this cookbook is that it's really cost conscious so if you already have ingredients in your house that you're looking to use up in new and creative ways this can help you do that without spending more money at the grocery store and I think that it really helps you to make the best use of what you have in your house without spending extra money that you don't need to on food and also also cutting waste the recipes are super adaptable and there are tons of substitutions so for example some of the recipes are what are called blueprint recipes meaning they list substitutions in the recipe so for example if you don't have one type of vegetable on hand it lists several other vegetables that you can substitute it for same with pasta grains legumes protein all of that so if you want to be able to cook at the end of the day without going to the grocery store it's a fantastic resource I think a cookbook like this is great because all of the ingredients and the recipes are super basic so if you can
come home from work at night and you have no idea what you're gonna cook, I guarantee you, you can flip through this book and find at least one thing that you can make with the ingredients in your house. The book has seven chapters, and like I said, the first chapter just sort of goes over the basics of what you need to stock in your pantry and some tips and tricks on meal planning and organization. And the rest of the chapters are organized by pantry ingredient. So there is a chapter called Cupboard Classics, and that basically teaches you how to make the base sauces and recipes that will be used in the rest of the cookbook. So I wanted to answer a couple common questions that I got when I announced my cookbook on Instagram. And by the way, if you guys aren't following me over there, it's just Jen Chapin. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But I did answer some of those questions on that platform, so I wanted to answer them over here on YouTube as well. So the first common question that I got was, will I write another cookbook? And the answer to that is, I obviously don't know. Uh, it obviously depends on the success of this this book which has been super successful so far so thank you so much for all of your support uh, I would I think like to write another one and now that I sort of am educated on everything that goes into it and how the process works so we'll see maybe I'll take a break and then <laughs> start writing another one another question I got was what is my favorite recipe in the cookbook and I think it's really hard to choose just one so I'm gonna tell you my favorite recipe out of each chapter probably gonna sound goofy but my favorite recipe out of chapter two which is the basics chapter is the baked brown rice and this is a fantastic way to cook rice I cook rice a lot in the instant pot but I think this method is even easier in the oven and it's great if you don't have an instant pot as well chapter three my favorite recipe would be the spicy beef and potato tacos these are so delicious and my whole family love them they are definitely a favorite on our list chapter four I think would be the carrot and chickpea salad I think this combination of flavors works so well together and it's a great meal prep and it's a great healthy recipe and I really encourage you to try it it's super delicious chapter five my favorite would have to be the fish cakes with lemon aioli you guys have seen me make those all the time before on my channel and they are definitely a family favorite and super easy to throw together on a weeknight and you can also prep them ahead of time as well uh, in chapter six I think my favorite is probably the slow cooker chicken chili that is delicious and it does great as leftovers too if you're tired of like the same old beef chili it's a great option and it's so convenient because all you do is throw everything in the crock pot at the beginning of the day at the end you just shred the chicken melt some cheese in there and you're good to go and then the last chapter which is baked goods there are some pretty good desserts in there but if I had to choose my favorite I'd probably say the focaccia um, that recipe is so foolproof I have made it multiple times and I have never had an issue it's probably one of the first like raised yeast breads that I ever made when I started trying to do that and so I think that anyone can do it even if you've had bad experiences with yeast dough before definitely try that recipe it's super simple and it's really delicious and then I also got questions on did I write the book and did I take the photos yes I wrote the book <laughs> I wrote every word of it uh, which was very time consuming but also super fun and very gratifying uh, I did not take the photos uh, the photos are really beautiful and the publisher did that so great job <laughs> Another question I got is, will it be available um, on platforms or other stores other than Amazon? So the answer to that is that I'm not quite sure yet. It kind of depends on the success on Amazon. If it does continue to do well, then there's a possibility that other stores may pick it up to sell in store, um, you know, Walmart, Costco, Barnes & Noble, anywhere that sells books. I think that would be so awesome <laughs> if it was for sale, uh, you know, in Costco and Walmart. So we'll see. I don't have the answer to that question yet another question I got is are there vegan and vegetarian recipes the answer is yes so every recipe is labeled with the type of diet that it falls under so there are vegan recipes vegetarian recipes dairy free and gluten free now not every single one of those recipes falls into those categories but I think I totaled it up and there are around 44 vegetarian recipes and there are plenty of dairy free dairy free and gluten free recipes too there are also notes in some of the recipes about substitutions that you can make if you want to convert these recipes to either gluten-free or dairy-free so while this cookbook isn't centered on one particular diet I do feel that it offers a lot of variety and 
terms of different ways of eating. Another question I got was where did I come up with the recipes? So essentially I started with the outline and the list of pantry ingredients and then I built all of the recipes around that. So most of them have been recipes that I've been cooking for a long time. Some of them are recipes that I developed specifically for the book so that was really fun so there's really a mixture in there. I also got a question about whether or not this book is available internationally and if you have Amazon in your country you can go to your Amazon site in your country and type in essential pantry cookbook and see what pops up. If it is available for shipping that option will be available to you. If it's not and you do have Amazon available in your in your country you can still get the ebook so I hope that answers those questions. I do know that it's available in both the UK and Canada for sure. Another question I got was how long did it take me to create? Uh, so basically I would say a good three months um, for the writing part and then uh, there was recipe testing throughout that time. Some recipes I didn't really have to test a lot just because it's something that I've already been making for a super long time. Like for example my chili recipe, that's something that I've made for you know probably 20 years so that's not something that I had to test a lot but some of the baking recipes that I developed specifically for the cookbook, yes I did have to test some of those multiple times and there were some fails in there but we rerouted and changed some of the recipes and got everything <laughs> up to speed but my kids did enjoy when I was testing out the baking recipes for sure. Another question I got was is this a good cookbook for beginners and I would say yes. I think the recipes in here are super flexible. You can really make them as simple or as complicated as you want. Some of them are just basic recipes that I think everyone should have in their repertoire. So definitely don't be intimidated if you're not uh, a super experienced cook. I think this is a perfect book for you or even if you'd like to give it as a gift to someone maybe who's just starting out or someone who's kind of wants to dip their toe into cookbooks, it would be a great idea. And the last question I got was when did I have time <laughs> to do this? Um, I did sleep less and obviously this was during the time when none of us were really going out and doing much of anything so I spent a ton of time on the weekends I would get up early uh, go to bed late I would block off you know two to three hours at a time just lock myself in my office and type everything out and then after the final drafts were or not the final drafts but you know after the drafts were written I would come down to the kitchen and start testing recipes I would try to incorporate the recipes throughout the week into our meal plan so I didn't have to be cooking extra so definitely a ton of work but I'm super proud of it it's super gratifying and I'm really really excited to get this into your hands so definitely leave me any other questions down below that you have in the comments uh, I hope you guys truly enjoy this book it was definitely a labor of love for me but make sure that you check it out on Amazon if you haven't already pre-ordered it right now I believe the price is around $15 obviously that will shift in terms of <laughs> supply and demand you guys know how Amazon changes their prices but I believe the base price is around $16 US so definitely super affordable. Another thing I'm going to be doing is creating some bonus content for the cookbook so I'll leave my email list link in the description box below. I'll be sending out that bonus content. My plan is to actually use the pantry ingredients in the book to create five bonus recipes and send those out via a PDF so I'll be talking more about that here on YouTube and on my email list so make sure that you're signed up for that but thanks again for all your support. I really cannot uh, convey how grateful I am to each and every one of you for your support, for watching my videos, uh, for making kind comments, for pre-ordering my cookbook. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.